it to me. The question was, have you ever revealed someone else's secret? Oh my goodness, Ruan, did you do this? <laughs> my last, my conversation class was about secrets, Servet. It was very interesting. People were leaving very quickly. I said, we're going to talk about secrets today. So people were just like coming and going. They, <laughs> they were afraid. Oh. Oh, so, I was having my dinner, so that's why I missed. No problem. So, Ruan, have you ever revealed someone's secret? Yes, I have. Okay. Reveal. Why? Mm -hmm. Because uh, uh, my sister, she seen me. Do you know what reveal uh -huh. means? Yeah. Reveal means to tell, to share. Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Uh, I I told my sister and uh, and she 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 is not safe my secret and she told my mom. No, you you don't understand the question. Have you Okay. Um Servet yes is going to tell me a secret. Not really, but Servet, just tell me something. Okay, I, I am a hmm, secret. Okay, tell me that you you shaved all your hair off yesterday. Can you tell me that? Just tell me you shaved your hair off. Not completely, but I had a haircut. That's not a secret. Oh, oh okay, <sighs> Doctor Serene. Tell me that you, I don't know, a secret. Ooh, guys, it's a secret. Okay. What? Servet told me that he shaved all of his hair off yesterday. He <laughs> didn't really tell me that, but I'm trying to get him to, but he won't. So, <laughs> Servet <laughs> shaved all of his hair off yesterday. Okay? So, that is his secret. I'm going to tell the whole class. I have revealed his secret. That's yeah. what it means to reveal a secret. I'm going to tell you something that someone else told me. I should not to publish I or not. yeah. Okay. So that was what the last class was about. It was about telling secrets. Well, actually it was just about secrets. We weren't really talking about them in detail. Okay, guys. So today Hi Lucy. Today is reading and writing. Reading and writing. I love reading and writing classes because you guys get an opportunity. Hi, Zachariah. You just you keep coming in just a little bit too late. Hi, Danny. Okay, reading and writing today, guys. This is an advanced class. Um, if you're not quite advanced, then I will do my best to help you. But just please realize that the pace of the class is going to be more um, the pace of the class is going to be more advanced okay let's see reading and writing let's find I need something for you guys to read I'm sorry sorry guys my computer restarted and I lost all of my links I had some links open for class and they all closed so I need to get them back give me one second Dios mio okay Okay, guys, here we go. So, I want everyone to read this, and then I'm going to ask you each a question, and you're going to 
write something for me. Very brief, but just like we did yesterday. So, reading and writing, what I want you to do is, ouch, what I want you to do is read first, and then you're going to write a little bit for me. Okay. Um, Servet, can you read that for me? And, um, Servet, I, I really want you to think about your air, okay? Yes. Your air. Okay. I admire Mohandas Gandhi because he was a peaceful person. He struggled non-violently for independence for his country. His life was simple but modest, yet he achieved his goal. He was a humble hero. Nice. Um, can you move your mouth a little bit more? Uh, he was a humble hero. He was a humble hero. Can you really move the front part of your mouth a little more? He was a humble hero. Yeah, I like your air. Can you read it from the beginning again? I admire Mohandas Gandhi because uh -huh. he was a peaceful person. Yes. He struggled non-violently for independence for his country. His life was simple but modest, yet he achieved his goal. He was a humble hero. Nice. You cleaned it up a little bit just by moving your mouth more. Could you hear a difference or feel a difference? Yeah, a little. Mm hmm. That's nice. Okay. Um, hi, Sham. Welcome. So, the question that I want to ask you is who do you admire and why? Who do you admire and why? Let me type it. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Who do you? I can give my turn to Rwan. Why? Yeah, no, just anyways. Why? I'm thinking because I'm thinking of the answer. Oh, he's thinking. Well, we can use this as um as a lesson. So he says, "I am thinking." He is using present continuous, and I just realized I didn't say hello to everybody. Mm. Hi, Dr. Serene. Hi, Izake. Hi, Lucy. Tien. Hi, Mark. Hi, Good to Hi. see you. Hi there. Hi. I'm. Hi, guys. I'm sorry. I kind of got thrown off at the beginning of class. Hi, Molly Din. Hi. How are you? Hey, guys. Look at this picture. This is actually him um, in water, in the ocean. Isn't that awesome? That's so <laughs> Thank cool. You. Hi, Renan. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Good to see you. Yes, very, very good. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Okay, so I want everybody to think of this question. Who do you admire and why? Because you're going to answer this question for me. Who do you admire and why? Are you ready, Servet? Me? Can you tell us who you admire? Can I say Justin Bieber? <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you serious? Don't say that in my class. That is horrible. Oh gosh, not this was. Oh something. my gosh. I thought maybe if I make a joke, maybe I can run oh. away from this question. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You know, I think sometimes you don't like to talk about serious things, do you, Servet? No, I just. I just it's a big question. How do I? I really can't find anything anybody. You don't do have like people that you like. I've had people that I've admired since I was a little girl. Like I admired Whitney Houston or Michael Jackson or you know the man down the street who always seemed to be so wise, or a teacher. You can admire many people. Many mm, so. many people. So I have to admire somebody else. <laughs> Who can I admire? Who inspires you? Who makes you feel positive? And who helps you to live a better life? Forrest Gump. Oh, my God. Okay. Why do you admire Forrest Gump, Servet? <laughs> <laughs> because he's funny. And he is successful. He is rich. He is innocent. He doesn't have a bad heart. 
Okay, can you write that for me? Yeah, that's the writing part of the class. You have to write it in a sentence for me. Forrest Gump is a person. Okay, so guys, so that we don't run out of time, um, while Servette is writing kiss sentences, then I'm going to go to Dr. Serene. So I'm going to come back to you, yeah. Servet. Okay. Don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Dr. Serene. Oh, yeah. No. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm trying to. Oh. Oh, Dr. Serene, your microphone is very bad. My yeah, microphone? But, Not from yeah, me. Yeah, you have a lot of extra sound. It went away. It stopped. Okay. Can you read that, please? I need water. Okay. Guys, don't write, please. Don't type anything. <laughs> One minute, I will put it there. <laughs> <laughs> I will fight against you. Okay, okay, okay. I admire Mohandas Gandhi because he was a peaceful person. He struggled nonviolently for independence for his country. His life was simple and modest. Yet he achieved his goal. He was a humble hero. Okay, one more time, please. Can you think of your shape inside of your mouth? Remember how much we talked about that? Yeah. Uh huh. Go ahead. I admire admire Mohandas Gandhi because he was a peaceful person. He struggled nonviolently for independence for his country. His life was simple and modest. Yet he achieved his goal. He was a humble hero. Very nice. I don't think you guys are having a hard time with this pronunciation at all. You you sound very nice, very natural with your reading. Sounds really good. Um, Dr. Sirin, the, the thing that you can... <laughs> well, thank you. You're working hard, though. But remember we talked about your sound moving like this? It's yeah. moving like this again just a little, but it's more like this now. We need this. I admire Mohandas Gandhi. So you remember the exercise like, hmm. Mm. Yeah, I can't forget it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have a nightmares because of it. <laughs> okay, so please, please read, but I want your voice to move. I admire Mohandas Gandhi. Make your voice move. I admire Mohandas Gandhi because he was a peaceful person. He struggled nonviolently for independence for his country. His life was simple and modest, yet he achieved his goal. He was a humble hero. Very nice. Very nice. It sounds good. Um, look at the simple answer. Do you see that, Servet? Marcio Loco says, I admire my mother. I was born because, I think he meant because of her. So it doesn't have to be someone famous. You know, he's talking about his mother. Okay, um, very nice job, Dr. Sudin. Dr. Mm -hmm. Sudin, you are going to answer the same question. Who do you admire and why? Ooh. Shall I write it or, or say it only? No, you're going to write it. And I will come back to you, okay? Uh, Servet, can you read what you have written, please? Okay. Forrest Gump is the person I admire. Because he has a positive and modest personality, his viewpoint towards life is hope-giving. Additionally, he is rich. <laughs> I like you, Servet. You are so funny. Okay. <laughs> um, his viewpoint, um, we would say his viewpoint about life. Um, I don't know if you'd have a viewpoint toward life. Like you would have... Um, you would have feelings toward another person. Feelings toward. But your viewpoint towards life would not sound natural. So his viewpoint about life is, is hopeful. Let's say hopeful, not hope giving. Hopeful. Also, when you say his viewpoint, that needs to be a new sentence. So Forrest Gump is the person I admire because he is a positive and modest personality, period. And then you want to go into your next sentence. His viewpoint about life is hopeful. 
Additionally, he is rich. That's very nice. Okay. Can you fix those things and retype it? Yes. After personality is period, and then his is going to be capitalized. Okay. About life or just about life? Do we have an article? His viewpoint toward life. Okay, no article. No, about his, his viewpoint. I forgot what I said. His viewpoint about life is hopeful. Okay. Actually, it wouldn't even be viewpoint. His view on life. That sounds better. His view on life mm. is. That sounds natural. His view on life is. Okay, Izake? Hey there. Do Dr. Serene, when you... um. Let Izake read, and then I will come back to you, and you can post okay. what you have written, okay? Izake, please read. Okay. Uh, I admire Mohandas Gandhi because he was a peaceful person. He struggled no vi vi viol violent, no, no violently. I okay, know. let's do it slowly. None. None. Vio. Vio. Lently. Lently. Non violently. Non viol violently. There you go. Okay. For for independence for his country. His life was simple and modest, yet he yet he achieved his goal. He was a humble hero. Achieved instead achieved. of achieved. Yes, instead oh. of achieved. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay, now I. Remember that long I sound? I. 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 I admire. I admire. Yes, instead of I admire. I admire. You sort admire. of ran it together. I admire. We will not know what that is, so we need to hear I very clearly and separately. I admire. I admire. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. Mohandas Gandhi. Because <laughs> he was a peaceful person, he struggled non violently. Non violently. Violently. Non. Non. Violently. Violently. Mm -hmm. For independence for his country. Mm -hmm. His life was simple and modest. Uh -huh. Yet he achieved his goal. Goal. He was goal. No. Oh, you're not pronouncing your L. Oh, his goal. 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 Uh, it just sounds like you're saying go, go, go. It sounds like you're saying this. We don't hear the L. Goal. Goal. La, 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 la. La, la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Goal. 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 Oh, Where's God. your L? I'm not hearing it at all. Goal. Uh, voice it. Goal. Voice. Go. Goal. L. L. Goal. Goal. Okay, okay. At least I heard it. Okay, keep <laughs> going. <laughs> keep going. Uh, he was a humble hero. Very nice. Okay, you're reading nicely. Um, I want you to keep your. We need to work on your shape on the inside of your mouth a little bit more, and keeping your. And we need to keep your air going. So okay. you guys know that the question is, who do you ad? Okay, I'm going to try to move a little bit more quickly. Servet corrected his. Forrest Gump is the person I admire because he has a positive and modest personality. His view on life is hopeful. Additionally, he is rich. Great job, Servet. Thank you. <laughs> Dr. Serene, do you have yours? 
I admire. Pro oh, can you read, please? I admire. I admire uh, Prophet Muhammad because he is the symbol of mercy, justice, and patience. He was an excellent pattern as the as the messenger of God. Okay, we would say the Prophet Muhammad because mm -hmm. there's only one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, and it is because you're using a title in front of his name. Like we wouldn't say the Muhammad, we wouldn't say that. But because you're saying the Prophet, I mean because you're saying Prophet, there's only one Prophet Muhammad that is like big all over the world. So we would say the Prophet Muhammad, uh, because he is a symbol of mercy, justice, and patience. He was an excellent, not pattern. Symbol, uh, symbol, or symbol. example. Example. Well, I don't know what you're. I don't really know what you're trying to say. I think you're trying to add two thoughts together. Like he was the messenger of God, but I, I think I would just keep it simple and say he was the he was a messenger of God. I don't know what you're trying to say when you say an excellent pattern as. Are there many messengers of God? Yeah. Okay, so he was an excellent yeah. example of. Moses. He was an excellent example Jesus. of. Can you hear me? Yeah. He was an excellent example of a messenger yeah, of like God. That. You can say that. Example first. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Of a of a instead of as the I think that's what confused me uh -huh. Uh -huh. so he was an excellent example of a messenger of God okay mm -hmm. so if you can retype yours um, Izake I'm going to come back to you so you keep writing and I'm going to go to Lucy okay Lucy are you there Dan, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, please read. I'm going to try to move quickly, guys, because we always run out of time. So I'm going to try okay. to move quickly. I admire Mohandas Gandhi because he was a peaceful person. He struck on non-violent... Oh my God, this word. Non-violently. Via, via, via. Then via, then via, then via landing, then via. Hold on, hold on. Copy me. Via, via. Via, via. Violent, violent. Violent. Oh, use your ear. Violent. Violent. Not violent, violent. That will. That is going to be confusing. So violent, violent. Violent. Violently. Violently. Non violently. Non violently. Violent. Violent. Non violently. Non violently. Nice. Good. Keep going. Yeah. Oh my God. Pra in independence. For his country, his life was simple and and modest. Yes, he achieved his goal. Uh huh. He was he was a humble hero. Nice. Okay, so for you, Dian, mm, the class is full, Anderson. The class is full, guys. You guys really should use that Facebook link I keep giving to you. That's how you can come in and get a seat. You need to use the Facebook link. Okay, so you need to use your air. Oh, no, I just lost my link. You need to use your air a little more. I admire Mohandas Gandhi. Gandhi, not Gandhi. Gandhi, because he was a peaceful person. Can you try again, Tien, and use your air? Yeah. I admire Mohan, Mohandas Gandhi because he was a peaceful, peaceful person. Mm -hmm. He struggled 
Nonviolent. Oh my God. Nonviolently. 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 Good. Pro independency. Independence. Independence. Mm -hmm. For his country, his life was simple and modest. Good. He, yet he he achieved his goal. <coughs> oh my God! <coughs> Sorry, so sorry. You okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Keep he going. Was, yeah, he was a humble hero. Yes, very nice. You sound good, Dian. I like your Thank sounds. You. We yeah. need to keep working on your open shape, but not just in your mouth, more like in the back of your throat. Like yeah. here, he was, he was, he was, he was. You really need to open here. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay, um, so listen, if you're just coming in, I saw Anderson pop in. If you guys are just coming in, please realize that I will probably not be able to get to you today because we have so much going on. We have a lot going on today. I'm trying to like squeeze a bunch in. Now, Dr. Sitting, you wrote, I admire the Prophet Muhammad because he is the symbol of mercy, justice, and patience. He was an excellent example of a messenger of God. Awesome. You guys are doing great. Good stuff. Okay, so Izake? <clears throat> Do you have your sentence? Okay. I'm saying... I'm s okay, can you read that for me, please? Uh, I don't know if it's right. I, I admire my English teacher from the college because he was such a mo motivational, I don't know, person and had a dynamic... To, and had a dynamic way... I, for, I forget it dynamic way to get students invo involved, in, involved in class. Nice. Uh, so it's missing. Di you're missing way, but uh -huh. let me show you. And I'm glad that you caught that. Dynamic way of, and then use verb. Getting. Yes, with ing. Uh. Dynamic way of getting students involved. Yes. Okay, I admire my English teacher from, we don't say from the college because the college sounds like a specific college um, and we don't know which college that is that you're talking about. So um, I admire my English teacher from, from college, period. And, and uh. that would be more natural English because he had, because he was such a motivational person, period. Uh -huh. And then your next sentence can be, he had a dynamic way of getting students involved. Guys, especially if you speak Portuguese, I don't know what it is about, because I don't know enough about Portuguese, but there's something about this language where you guys try to pack a lot in one sentence. We don't do that in English. You, you really need to try to find one or two ideas in English and stick to it. Don't try to put four ideas in a sentence. Use different sentences for that. Okay. Because he was such a motivational person. He had okay. a dynamic way of getting students. In. Excellent. Good job. Kay. Okay. So I'm trying to move quickly. Uh, Lucy, are you here? I'm not able to hear you. I'm trying. I'm trying I can hear you to, now. To stay here in the... Can you hear me now? I can. So why don't we get you to... Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, Lucy, I can hear you. Oh, so, may I talk? Uh, yeah, you're going to read for me. You see what I put there for you? The problem... I, 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 um, I have uh, a lot of problem with my net line. I don't know why. I'm coming okay. and I'm going out. Well, why don't you um, just listen then? and follow what the class is doing. Um, we have so many people who need to go. I, I think I try to do too much in one class, so I'm trying to make sure that everybody gets a chance. Since you're coming and going, why don't you just try to listen and follow what we're doing? We're doing some pronunciation, and then we're doing some writing, and I'm correcting grammar, okay? Yeah, sure. 
Okay, okay. So, Mark, why don't you read that for me? And I think we got everyone before you, so we should be caught up. Um, Zachariah or Zachariah, I probably will not be able to get to you today um, because we have one, two, three. We have four people. Okay, Zachariah says that he admires his mother. We have four people who need to go. Who has a dog barking? My neighbor's dog, I think. Really? Oh my gosh, you have a really good microphone because I can hear that. Um, can I read it? Yes, please do. Here you go. Okay. I admire Mohammed Gandhi because he was a peaceful person. He struggled not violently for independence for his country. His life was simple and modest, simple and modest. Yet he achieved his goal. He was a humble hero. Um, um, Mark, can you do like a, a small yawn in your throat? Um, sort of like, ah, oh, a very small yawn, so that the space in your throat is more open instead of like this, and that way your air can move a little bit more. So read, read after me. Just try that technique. Just think about having your throat open a little more, okay. because okay. your sounds are so nice. Um, I think it will be even nicer if we can get your air to move. So okay. think about staying open and then read after me. Okay. I admire. I admire. Um, uh, I admire. I admire. We connect it because there are two vowels there, so we okay. don't say I admire. We say okay. I admire. I admire. Mohandas Gandhi. Mohandas Gandhi. Because he was. Because he was. A peaceful person. A peaceful person. He struggled. He struggled. Non violently. Non violently. Um, the key here is you have that V I O. Uh, okay. Let me show you this. Uh, try this. Vio. Vio. We have the, the I and the O together. So to help us Bye pronounce it, yo. yes, but it's not like a real Y. It's sort of like violently instead of vio. We we make the Y like subtle, violently. Violently. Yeah, you hear that? It's really subtle, okay. but it's there. Okay. Violently. Violently. Non-violently. Non-violently. For independence. For independence. 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 Oh, you're saying in the in the in the independence. You should hear. Independence. Uh huh. For his country. For his country. His life was simple and modest. His life was simple and modest. Yet he achieved his goal. Yet he achieved his goal. He was a humble hero. He was a humble hero. Very nice. Very nice. You sound really good, my friend. So who do you. you admire and why? If you can write okay. your sentence, and then I yeah, will come back to you. I did already. You did? Awesome. Yeah. Okay, let's see it. Okay, just... Uh, Is that a chihuahua? <laughs> no. Bigger, bigger dog. Big dog. Um, we always capitalize names. So Luis Ignacio Lula da, da Silva. All of those would be capitalized in English. I, I didn't get what is said. Names. Okay. Luis, the, the yes. first letter needs to be capitalized. Yeah, Ignacio? it should be. Yeah, Lula, das, Da would not be capitalized, but Silva would no. be. Yes, for sure. It yes, so you need to capitalize the name. Can you read for me, please? 
I admire former Brazilian president Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva because despite of his poor background, he was able to succeed in Brazilian politics and became one of the most influential men in the world. This is a really nice sentence. Despite his, instead of despite of. I think what okay. you're thinking of is in spite of. Okay, yes. So we have in spite of, and then we have okay, despite. despite mm -hmm. I so it. I admire former Brazilian needs to be capitalized. It should be. Yes. Okay. Um, because despite his poor background, uh, despite his poor background, comma, he was able okay. to succeed in Brazilian politics, and and he became one of the most influential men in the world. Became one the ah became one of the most influential men. Can you make those corrections for me? Yes. Okay, and if you can mute your microphone, and I'm going to come back to you in just a minute. Okay. And if you guys want to do like Mark, that's actually a really good idea. Um, Renan and Juan, if you want to go ahead and write your sentences, that would help us save time. Malidin, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you read for me? Remember your your our conversation from yesterday. You are going to use your air and make your okay. air move and keep your mouth open, okay? Okay. Okay, good. Mm. I admire Mohandas Gandhi because he was a peaceful person. He struggled non-violently for independence for his country. His life was simple and modest, yet he achieved his goal. He was a humble hero. Okay, his life was, can you read from there, please? His life was simple and modest, yet he achieved his goal. He was a humble per. He uh, Sorry, he was a humble hero. Nice. Okay, so um, two things that you can um, concentrate, uh, focus on, is when you have a word that starts with the letter S, don't say a struggled or a simple. Okay. Don't, don't add the S sound in front of the S. His life was simple, not his life was a simple. Okay, his life was simple. Yes. Your E sound E. E. We talked about that yesterday, didn't we? Yes. Uh, <laughs> like I just times. realized when you started laughing, <laughs> I was like, we did this yesterday. Okay. Yes. E. E. Uh, he. He. Peaceful. Peaceful. You hear that? You're saying like, oh, I don't want to say that word. That's a bad word. Mm. Peaceful? Yeah, you're saying a, yeah, don't say that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> e. E. Peaceful. Peaceful. There you go. There you go. Okay. Um, uh, uh, yet he achieved. Achieved. Not achieved. 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 Yes. Hero. Okay. He. Hero. Hero. Yeah. Hero. Okay. You're saying hero. 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 Okay. Can you read again, please? Uh, from the first? Yeah. Okay. I admire Mohandas Gandhi because he was 
a peaceful person. He, he struggled non-violently for independence for his country. His life was simple and modest, yet he achieved his goal. He was a humble hero. Nice. I like your E sounds much better. Okay, much, much you. better. Okay. Um, this is. Okay. So the question is who do you admire and why? Can you. Did you type your answer? Oh, I'm sorry. Why? Do you have your answer already or do you need time? Uh, almost done, but uh, I don't have it finished yet. So Okay, go ahead and work on it. Um, okay. Zacharia says, I admire my mother because she grows me up. We would say she raised me uh, and all of my brothers and sisters. After my father was killed by terror, maybe terrorists, not terrorists, terrorists, um, and she never, she didn't get married again. Okay, I'm sorry to hear about that. That sounds very difficult. Your mother sounds like a very strong woman. Thank you for, for writing that for us, Zacharia. Okay, Mark, did you finish your corrections? Yes, I did. Yeah, can you put them in the chat? <clears throat> I admire former Brazilian President Luis Inácio Lula da Silva because despite his poor background, That comma. Because. The comma goes after because. Did I tell you the uh -huh. wrong place? I'm sorry. Maybe I said it. I was just like going too quickly. Because, comma, despite his poor background. Oh, you know what? You. Mm. This is a phrase. Despite his poor background, you're going to have a comma before and after. Okay. I got it. Because, comma, despite his poor background, comma, he was able to succeed in Brazilian politics. And he became one of the most influential men in the world. Wonderful sentence. That's Thank you. wonderful. Good job. Okay. Thank you You're welcome. Okay, so Mali Dean, I will come back to you. And okay. um, we are almost done here. Renan. Um, one second. Someone wrote who was that? Alvaro Enrique. How can I participate in this conversation? Um, what happens? Alvaro is you have to come to the class early in order to get a seat and uh, if someone leaves then you can come in so you want to make sure that you go to the classes at the very beginning okay bye Zacharia take care um, you want to come to the class at the beginning so you can get a good seat or so you can get a seat period and that's how it works um you can actually come in now Someone just left. Alvaro, someone just left, so you could come in right now if you want it. Okay, Renan. Okay, teacher. Please read. <coughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm typing the wrong thing in here. Lose. I think I'm losing my voice, too. There you go. Please read. Okay. I admire Mohandas Gandhi because he was a peaceful person. He struggled no violently for independence for his country. His life was simple and modest, yet he's, he achieved his goal. Achieved. He was, achieved his goal. He was a humble hero. Okay, so this um, CH sound, sometimes it is like A C H E, like ache, ache, mm -hmm. but here it is achieved. achieved. So we don't have achieved. Okay. We don't have that. It is achieved. Achieved. There you go. Where are you from again? I'm from Brazil. Your I... English is so nice. Oh, thank you very much. You, I can still hear the accent. Your accent is strong, but I can hear that your your technique, the way that you're speaking, like your throat is open, you're using your air. Where have you been studying English? Actually, I'm living in Dublin in Ireland. I'm living here for, since February. I've been here to oh. study English. So You're sometime, studying English in yes. Ireland. That's so yes. cool. Yes. 
Sometimes oh. I don't know if it's possible if I have a British or something like that accent. No, you don't have a British accent, but your um your technique. I think you're learning from them, like a uh, more natural technique. We do speak English differently. There's an Irish accent. There's an American accent. So mm -hmm. we do speak English differently, but your technique is not like most Brazilians that I've heard. You're using your air, and your throat is open. So that sounds really nice and natural. Thank you very much. Okay, so let me ask you this. Who do you admire and why? Can you write that for me, and I will come back to you in just a bit? Okay, perfect. Okay. Ruan! Ruan! Yes? I need for you to read for me, please. Okay. I admire Mohandis. I admire. I admire Mohandis Gandhi because he was a peaceful person. His struggle, peaceful person. He struggled. No. Struggled. Struggled. So let me ask you, Ruan, were you listening to the others read? Yeah, I listen at all, but I'm so nervous. I don't know. Why are you nervous? I don't know. Do you know everybody in this room loves you to pieces? Everybody loves you. Why are you nervous? Yeah, but I don't. When I when I am nervous, I can't read. Okay. Well, read after me, okay? And relax, okay? Okay. Oh, can you breathe? Pressure, <laughs> pressure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, read after me. I admire... I admire... Mohandas Gandhi. Mohandas Gandhi. Because he was... Because he was... Not because. Because... Because he was, he was a peaceful person. A peaceful person. A peaceful, peaceful person. Not person. Remember the er sound? We just did it a few hours ago. Person. Person. There you go. He struggled. He struggled non violently. Non violently. Non violently. Non violently. 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 Non violently. Non violently. For independence. <clears throat> For independence. Independence. Independes. Indi. Indi. Pendence. Pendence. There you go. Indi. Indi. Pendence. Pendence. For his country. For his country. His life was simple. His life was simple. And modest. And models. Modest. Modest. Yet he achieved. Yet he achieved. His goal. His goal. He was a. He was a. Humble hero. Humble hero. Nice. Okay, you sound really good. Let go. You can do it. Salvador is encouraging you. You see, you, you are amongst friends. That's what we're saying. You are in the middle of friends. Everybody wants to support you. Okay, so who do you and why? I need for you to write that for me. I will come back to you, okay? I type it. Awesome. Uh, but I need for you to wait because Mali Dean needs to go next, okay? Okay. Okay. Mali Dean? Yeah. 
can <clears throat> you get type or paste what you have? Okay. Oh. Mm. Sorry. Uh, can you read it for me, please? <clears throat> oh my goodness, that's a lot of. Uh, I admire my father. The reason I admire him because uh, he teaches me how to believe and try, which I think the most two important things in life. He shows me what can you achieve with hard work. He doesn't have a university degree, but he is a quite successful person. He tried what he believed and all his children, including me, get a very valuable lesson about life. As long as you believe, chase for it and you will get it. Now uh, he is living a happy life because he tried what he believed. I hope I will be like him. Uh, oh, sorry. One, one day. <laughs> no, no, okay. One day. So here's what's happening. There are many things I would like to help you with, but because of time, I cannot help you with this whole paragraph. So what I'm going to do okay. is help you with a couple of things. The reason I admire him is because you need a verb. Okay. The reason yeah. I admire him because I want you to I want you to realize that that is um, that it is unnatural. The reason I admire him because the reason I admire him is because. Okay. Okay. Um, you don't need a comma after that. The reason I admire oh, him yeah. is because he teaches me. Um, you don't need to say he teaches me how to believe. You can just say he teaches me. Because when people teach you, they teach you, you know, like what to, th uh, they give you ideas, they give you knowledge, um, they help correct your actions. So they teach you many things. You don't need to say he teaches me how to believe. Okay. You get it? You understand? Yes, yes. Um, we would say he teaches me many things about life. Okay. He teaches me many things about life. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you wrote a lot, Malidine. I wish that I could help you. You just wrote so much. I, I Because of time, I don't have time to help you with so many things. Um, when you write in the class, try to keep your, your, your writing down to like maybe two or three sentences. That will be best. <laughs> so I can help you. Um, okay. What you wrote here is very nice. I just don't have time to help you with all of it. Uh, that's okay. I, I think I overtyped it. I thought I typed it in Microsoft Words. I don't know if <laughs> it could look much like this. <laughs> that's okay. Okay, Renan, did you write something for us? Sorry, teacher. Yes, I have. Sorry. Okay. Please, could you okay. read for me? No, you read it. It's reading oh, okay, and writing. Okay, okay, <laughs> perfect. Sorry, very sorry. <laughs> I admire people from my country because even in hard days, we know how to make ourselves happy. All Brazilians are very happy, and we know how to share our joy. My country is is beautiful and very peaceful. I've had the proud to be a Brazilian. Nice. Okay. I admire, I admire people from my country. Here's something that I see a lot of Brazilians doing with your commas. I'm not sure what this is about. I don't know what this is about. You, you can't do that in English. You need to put a space after your comma. Space? You see? Mm-hmm. You have to do that. You cannot <laughs> write a... And then also, um, to share our joy joy comma my country you cannot do this you need mm. a space after your punctuation I'm not sure why you guys don't do that is do I have to put space or not teacher you have to okay sorry yeah and then, then do you see um, share our job my country it is a new sentence it is a new thought you need a space mm-hmm I admire people from my country because even in hard days, we know how to make ourselves happy. Period. That's one sentence, one thought. All Brazilians are very happy, and we, not we knows, we, we know. Sorry. We know. Yeah, sorry. That's okay, don't apologize. We know 
how to share our joy. My country is beautiful and very peaceful. I am very proud. I am proud. I am not proud. I've had proud. But oh. in this case, it's not a good as in this case, it is not a new information for you. What? What? Like I'm uh, because it it's not a good uh, a new information for you in this case. I've had proud. I am proud to be a Brazilian. Okay. That's natural English. That's Perfect. natural English. Okay, Juan, can you retype your sentence, please? Let me see what you wrote. Okay, can you read for me? I admire my father admire, because he helped admire. me. Admire, admire, admire my father because he helped me in anything. He found me and teach me the right to life. I wish I could be like him. Anything I keep it, he gives it to me, and I always say to him, "Bless you." That is so sweet. Okay. Um, is that a call to prayer? What? I hear someone. Yeah. Are they? It's a call to prayer. Yeah. That is so cool. I want to hear that in life one time. I want to hear that. Okay. I admire my father because he, he, you cannot say he helped me. He, I help, you help, he helps. You understand? Yes. So Pre you can't. Pre pre present simple? Simple present, yes. But you did not conjugate the verb helps properly. He helps me. Yeah. Uh, he helps me in anything. He helps me. You can say he helps me. Bye, non. Take care. He helps me with anything I do. You can say that. You do not want to say he fondles me. You do not want to say that. Uh, mm -hmm. You want to say he cares for me. Do not say he fondles me. That that is not a good a good phrase. Okay. 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 So you can say he cares for me. That sounds really good. Uh, why uh -huh. is teach capitalized? It does not need to be capitalized. Does not need to be capitalized. Okay? So those are a few things that you can work on. Okay.